Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Magical Star Sign. I'm the RNG Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we experienced the Starfall Festival. And now we got to Grenadine's Tower, aka Condiment Tower. We've been moving up here a bunch, and um, well, we're about to meet Grenadine. We've heard a lot about him from all these dwarves in this stupid ass tower, but we'll meet him now. Where is he? I can't see a Grenadine. Where in blazes is he? Are you Grenadine? <sighs> I've been expecting you! Someone told me... Uh, someone told me some kids came into town with a man... Mangy old fake beard! You know, I'd heard about some dwarves living on Cassia. They were banished there, oh, six generations back, I'd say. I figure that's where they got it. Well then... Now that you're here, I don't have much idea of where you, where to start. Hmm. Oh, right, right. I've got it now. So, where it is that you kids gotta get out to Nova, the light planet, to hunt down some guy named Kale, right? Well, let me see. What can I do to lend you a hand? Uh, that Millennium Gummy you have there is unique. Only one exists on each of the planets. You found the Fire Millennium Gummy. It's a vital ingredient in order to con conduct the experiment Croc left behind. Fair warning, this is a long story. You sure won't want to listen to it. With that voice, not, probably not, uh, but I guess I have to. Alright, a long time ago there was a, an arch wizard named Kraken. He was a great man, you could almost call him the father of magic, and he predicted the death of the sun. He said the sun would die in the near future and be reborn soon thereafter. Kraken said further that when that happened, all creatures in this world would die and everything would be reborn in you. He said the light planet held the secret to the revival of the sun. So Kraken went out of his way to make a device that could take him there. That would be the rocky stage you found at the base of the world CM. But it won't even budge unless you exert some considerate exert some ex considerable magic. So isn't there an easier way to get there, you ask? Well, guess what? There sure is. When I'm what I'm going to tell you has to do uh, has to do with how the whole solar system is put together you understand see all matter is made out of uh, out of a pure uh, out of a few pure elements earth fire water wind and wood if you want to go to the light planet you have to transmute the elements of each planet to change their phase that's where you mean uh, where that's where the millennium gummies come in you have to take their power and change it Use it to re reach Nova. Kraken called that process etherealization. I found a book that Kraken had left behind. It contained his notes on the etherealization device, but it didn't contain any detailed schematics. I've wanted to make that thing for a long time, but nobody around here gets why I'm so obsessed with it. No one wants to help me, and more importantly, no one wants to collect the gummies I need. For that matter, I haven't found any uh, volunteers f volunteers for etherealization. So if you want to go to Nova, you'll need to gather the Millennium Gummies and bring them here to me. They're, that's the only way. Let's see, you probably ought to head to Cassia first. I hear Kraken used to run a magical academy of his own there. Oh, right, right, I've got it now. Uh, oh. I'm gonna be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm glad I did that, not... So, I, I don't like that. We have to go to Cassia then, I... I guess? What, 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 are, what are we gonna do in Cassia? Well, let's find out. We utilize the map, we teleport over to here. We can warp, that's nice. When we are gonna have to head back to the ship. Don't get in fights, don't get in fights. Oh, you're getting in fights, aren't you? No? Yes? What if I don't want to head to Cassia first, though? What? What if? Let's try to not head to Cassia first. We'll see how that goes. Ah! <sighs> Are you telling me... Are you telling me I didn't activate him? Oh my gurdy gumdrops. What happened? Hey! 
Hey, hey, you, my friend, are in the right place at exactly the right time. Why, you ask? Well, listen to this. If I give, if you give me a sugar star, I'll create a war point for you right here. Once I've got this war point set up for you, you'll be able to warp here anytime you like. So, what do you say? Do we have a deal? Yes. And just like that, it's all taken care of. Wasn't that easy? Anytime you want to warp, just pop your old magical navigator open. E Z. Right then, be seeing ya. Thank you. Could have done that ages ago. Right now, I'm not headed to Cassia. I'm gonna try and go to Erd. This is correct. A destination confirmed. He told me to head to Cassia first, but maybe I can do this? Erd the Earth Planet. Well, well, if it isn't the heroes. While you were away, we buried the shovel with the robots. In fact, I just bought a gummy from this guy. Ooh, can you sell me a gummy too? Beep, 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 boop, beep, beep. We have no more need for magicians. The pirates won't buy them. Beep, beep, boop, beep, beep. Nice. You have your own little town, don't you? Beep, boop, wibbly, beep, boop, blop, blop, bleep, bleep. This is Rio Village, a ro the robot town. Bleep, 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 bleep. Bloop, bloop, bloop. We are self-sufficient. We get what we need. We sell the rest. Bleep, bleep. This disturbed network controls us. We're always connected to our kind. Magic battery is our energy source. Ask Emerald Core for details, beep. The gummy. You're also looking for the gummy. Yes? Emerald Core can answer your, your query. Hello there, what are you doing here? Hey, hey, you my friend are in the right place at exactly the right time. Why you ask? Well, listen to this. If I give you a sugar star, you'll create a war point for me right here. Once I've got this war point set up for you, you will be uh, you will be able to warp here anytime you like. So, what do you say? Do we have a deal? Yes. And just like that, it's all taken care of. Wasn't that easy? Anytime you want to warp, just pop your old magical navigator open. E Z. Right then, be seeing ya. Is that joke getting old? Probably. Probably. What do you have for sale? Welcome to my VM garage. I love a VM garage. I want to have every part of it. Stone off tail. I have zero of those. That could be dangerous. Wakey tail. I don't like buying those. Slippy oil. More. Punk cap. Punk cap. Plus six defense, but that reduces all the other stuff. I don't think six defense is worth. Comzad dish. It might look a little silly, but this hat magnifies any magic it catches. That's good. 6,200. Demon brace. Was the demonic face carved onto this band, or was a demon imprisoned within it? Hmm. I don't need... I don't really need... Oh. What kind of band are you using, Marka? No, this definitely has intelligence plus five on it. No, plus four. Well, plus five for these guys. Holy. Quartz lens. Magical crystal lens adorned this ring. That reduces attack power. That's good. 5,200? I can deal with that. That's gonna be bought four times. Plate mail. Uh, no. Mecha boots. It can get pretty noisy walking around these chunky metal mechanical kicks. I don't think so. Bird charm. This necklace helps you understand how birds feel. I don't want to understand how birds feel, though. Okay, Kamzad dish is going to be bought four times as well. This is going to be a money situation. All right. That's good. We spent a lot of cash here. I guess you're happy. Quartz lens. I will equip those on you, 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 and you. Oh, the oven mitts. 
fine. Come that dish. You, 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 and you. Yep. The rest I will sell to you. Equipment antenna four times. Gold ring two times. Platinum ring one time. And oven mitts one time. Okay. What other items could I sell to you? A tentacle. I only have one of those. Not worth battle. No. Other dragon eggs. Yes. Why is that chest worth so much? I guess I'm gonna sell these because I've got I've used them all on my characters. Everybody knows that. The putty piece I'm gonna keep. Alright. Thank you. No, I thank you. Dr. Calzone programmed us to fend for ourselves. He was a technical genius of the espresso civilization. Beep, beep, beep. You're here to seek Emerald Core? Yes. Beep. Access code required. J9100 issues the access codes. J1... What? What's that even mean? J1... Hmm. Let's see that. Beep, 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 bleep, beep. This planet is too dry, we cannot make gummies. When we run out of gummies, we will move on to another planet and make more. Beep beep beep, elevator access code required to unlock the elevator leading to Emerald Core. You're just who I wanted to talk to! Beep beep beep. Now issuing the access code to Emerald Core. The access code is... Damn you. Damn you. You had to. A, B, 80. K, 3, 0, 5. That 3 is not... Okay. C, B, 8, 2. And 8, 8, 2, Q. Z, C, B, W. I'm not a genius. I can't remember this. P, 0, 1, K. Let's hope I can make that. Don't you give me more. Oh, lucky ducky. I thought this was going to be the situation where he gives me a little more. Just a little bit. I expect like another two pages of that. So that you'd have to make sure you wrote all that down. That's why I always have note sheets with me though. These look nice. All right, what's it gonna be, Mr. Pink? A, B, A, D. K, 305. C, B, A, 2. A, D, A, 2, Q. Z, C, B, W. P, O, 1, K. It's unlocked, use it however you want. Well. I, I only know of one way to use this. Oh, it's a, it's a, hi. Is this a gigantic computer? Well, I suppose I should know my own kind. Comp computer? It's a robot that remembers information and can think for itself. Like a robot can move? No, it can't. Not like me. Just sits there, but it's really, really smart. Unlike you, huh, Maka? Oh, burn. It was cold. Access the database? Yes. What data file would you like to access? Robotics. Program pattern. Robots operate, robots operate strictly on the code written by their creators, members of the Espresso Civilization. The robots gather materials and pr process them to create more robots, thereby allowing for optimal population control. 
Robots are also programmed to engage in economic activities with nearby life forms to achieve goals. They are also equipped with formidable self-defense capabilities. Robots maintain their own battery cores. When their, battery run, when their batteries run low, robots begin producing battery cores on their own. The manufacture of battery cores is based on data that has been collected by previous models, thus ensuring battery, battery efficiency. Robots use magical energy as their power source. Battery cores are manufactured using advanced art artificial gummy crystals. Dark magic energy can convert moisture and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere into gummy molecule chains. These vaporized gummy molecules quickly dissolve in carbonated water. When light magic pressure is applied to vaporized gummy molecules, they form organic tissues and begin to crystallize. Natural gummies mainly nucleate around microbes and natant microorganisms when they crystallize. Crystallization properties change according to the core and atypical ones behave like living organisms. You can create artificial magic gummies by replicating the natural gummy generation process into a, inside a manufacturing plant. The crystals become unstable when the crystalline nucleus is small. This is important because if it's too big, the crystal uh, quality deteriorates dramatically. Human life forms with magical abilities make the best crystalline nucleuses for artificial gummy. Are you trying to tell me that you turn magicians into... Top to bottom, read it again vertically, run the program pattern part by me again. Robotics, program pattern. Yes, I have, I, I, I'm running it by Marka again because he apparently did not really listen to it. So, Marka. Core acquisition process in initiator sequence Delta Epsilon Prime Prime Era. Say, uh, what? If I switch the even numbers with odd numbers. What? I is it a secret code? Priority access data dampener. Why are you giving me binary right now? Whoop. Sorry, that made no sense. Yeah, that did not. Uh, let's see. Access the database. Come on. Work once. We're gonna have to do this again. Maka, are you, are you trying to tell me that there's some kind of secret message hidden inside of this dialogue? Because if you are, then we could be, we could be uh, talking to this, but no, never mind. I did that just to waste your time. And I'm glad too. Eric! Maka isn't here. He must be inside. Let's go back for now. What's up, Marka? Why well, you're not looking too hard there, Chief? Bleep bleep bleep, what's the problem? Battery has lost its charge. Recharge in Cave ruins. But security there is way tight. Beep battery lost its charge. Recharge at Cave ruins. Oh forget it, this robot is useless. How are we going to fix Marka? Charang beep. I can transfer a minimal battery charge. Really? Thanks. Beep. That rocks. Thanks. Hmm. I wonder if they even understand the meaning of thanks. Let's just say they do. That was good. We're gonna, I guess we're gonna have to recharge Maka. In Cave Ruins, he said. Well, ooh, hi. 
Hey, hey, you, my friend, are in the right place at exactly the right time. While you ask, well, listen to this. If you give me your sugar star, I'll create a warp point for you right here. Once I've got this warp point set up for you, you'll be able to warp here anytime you like. So, what are you going to say? Do we have a deal? Yes! And just like that, it's all taken care of. Wasn't that easy? Anytime you want to warp, just pop your old magical navigator open. E Z. Right then, be seeing ya. Thanks. North Ancient Espresso Ruins. West Rio Vela, Villa. East Remnants of Espresso Airport. For now, we're not gonna move anywhere, though. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until next time. Bye-bye.